Okay, so uh, some of you guys that have been following me on Instagram and Facebook probably know that I've been experimenting with uh, this guy here. This is a little two inch micro, actually it's a two and a half inch frame with these 1108 motors. Uh, these are some experimental motors, prototypes from Emacs, uh, 4500 kV. Uh, if the camera will focus on that. And uh, I, yeah, I wanted to see what the viability would be of a uh, micro class uh, drone flying 6S and uh, I don't have any small 6S batteries so I wanted to try this one here. This is uh, two 350 mAh 3S batteries and they're 60C. You can see I doubled them up so I can make a 6S battery and I use this little adapter here. I'll talk about that more in a second but uh, bottom line is I don't think this is very viable. Um, I was getting just ridiculously hot motors and this was after doing all of the normal PID tuning, I lowered the D gains, P gains as much as I possibly could. Uh, they were in the single figures, if you guys were wondering. And also I uh, changed all of the filtering, like the um, uh, low pass filter, the gyro low pass filter, the D-trim filter, all that normal uh, PID tuning BS that you go through to cool down the motors and uh, yeah, I wasn't able to get the motors very cool at all. Now, I did a few like sort of minor blips on on, on the throttle um, in the test flights. You know, I'll show you a little bit of footage here. I didn't really get to fly it very much. I would do short like 30 second and one minute flights and then I would land and uh, I'd check the temperatures and I was using this uh, thermal imaging scanner here. So the thermal camera. Uh, actually, this is pretty cool. So let me just show you how this works. Let me just turn this on. Anyway, uh, I was using this to measure the temperature of the motors as it was coming down and uh, the temperatures were ridiculous. They were like 170 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, well over 50 degrees Celsius. So here's what the Im thermal imaging camera looks like. Now we see the motors right now aren't hot at all. So you can't see any differences in there, but this does measure the temperature right there and also the uh, minimum and maximum. So I'll pop up some photos of the motor temperatures I took off of this guy and um, yeah basically bottom line is uh, the test was unsuccessful. Previously I was running a success test on a 3 inch rig here using some different motors. These are 1306 2700 kV. So I think the kV of the motor is the big difference here and also the weight um, oh, we're talking about. So this is a bigger prop uh, um, a bigger frame, bigger motor, and obviously I was I was using a bigger 6S battery, like a 550 6S. That one seemed okay. The motors didn't get super hot. They the motor temperatures were fine. It's just that, again, on that setup, I don't know if the uh, there's that's all vi all that viable anyway because you're carrying around a lot of extra weight compared to the weight of the quad. So my conclusion on that one is also kind of mixed. Uh, whereas on the smaller one here is definite no. I think that's sort of inconclusive on the uh, the larger setup. I think that again I have to find some smaller batteries. Now you know uh, I tried doubling up these 350s here with this little adapter and this is probably a really bad idea because you get a massive amount of voltage sag on when I was flying this around and it's because of this little adapter here there was a lot of internal resistance that's going on right here. It would be better to have an actual full full-on 6S LiPo to do this test, but I don't have anything the size and a success. I don't think anything like that exists. The smallest one I have is a 550, and that weighs more than this guy here. So I thought that would be kind of ridiculous. But you know, the the point is that even with the voltage sag, the motors got super hot. So they would have even gotten hotter with a, with a better battery. So it was you know, <laughs> the voltage sag didn't help. But uh, obviously, uh, having a better battery probably would have smoked the motors right away. Uh, having this uh, adapter here probably saved motors from being completely smoked right away. But yeah, um, the, you would see, and I'll show you a little bit of footage, like I would just blip the throttle a little bit and the voltage would go from like a fully charged battery to like almost completely empty in, in, in seconds. It has to do with the uh, resistance of, caused by this little adapter. So if you do happen to do a 6S test with doubling up some 3S LiPos, I don't think doing it this way is a good idea, especially for these little micro batteries. Anyway, I just wanted to show you sort of the weight uh, difference here. 
So the weight of the drone is only 98 grams, and then the weight of the battery with the adapter is 78 grams. So it's just carrying around too much weight for this compared to the weight of the drone. Normally, you would probably want to be at the most 50% of the weight. So if this is 100 grams, the biggest battery I would ideally want to carry around is around 50 grams. Uh, so I'm carrying around an 80 gram battery for this 6S test and it's just uh, not that viable. Now I was considering um, trying even a bigger prop, like a two and a half inch prop, maybe at a lower pitch than these Avons, but I just don't think that this, this particular 1108 motor is going to be able to handle that voltage. So I may try a different motor, um, maybe like a 1304 or something like that, perhaps. Uh, not sure, I'm still looking into it, but yeah, I'm, I think the biggest problem is going to be the batteries. It's just unless I can find a 300 or 350 that's actual six cell, because um, I I know that you could probably open it up and do all the soldering and make it actually make an actual six cell battery. I I was considering possibly doing something like that, um, but yeah, it's uh, honestly I think it's a little bit dangerous, and I'm not willing to burn my house down for for that test. So I'm just not going to do that test. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Um, yeah, sadly, the motors on this setup here are way too hot. I may revisit this little project later down the road with some different motors and see if uh, something else might be viable. But at this point in time, I would say uh, don't bother with success on uh, a three inch or less or two and a half inch or two inch micro. It's just uh, uh, just not really a viable situation given the kind of motors we have out there and the uh, kind of heat that's being generated by these motors. Anyway, I hope you found the video helpful, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.